good morning today i will show you how to hold the intestine in anatomical position you know intestine is having three parts duodenum jejunum and ileum duodenum i will show you in separate video but in this uh, specimen jejunum and ileum together i will show you how to hold it anatomically so before holding you must know the jejunal site and the ileal site to identify the orifice near the jejunum and orifice near the terminal end of the ileum and other anatomical features or general features to understand which one is the jejunal site and ileal site then you can hold the specimen in anatomical position now look at this this is a specimen of jejunum and ileum and this fat laden this fold is called the b mesentery is a double fold of peritoneum which contains the fat and blood vessels and some lymph nodes and this one end is the ileal end on one side i am showing you the ileal end yes this is uh, one end can you see the ileal one end and i will show you why it is ileal end i will demonstrate yes this is the ileal end of the small gut and another end is here and this is the jejunal site if you see closely the jejunal site from the inner aspect they are all the circular mucus folds these are circular mucus fold they are closely opposed and it is very thick in compared to the ileal side it is thin and the mucosal fold inside the ileum is widely apart from each other i am showing the another part of the ileum then it will be clear to you how it is apart from <laughs> each other yes you see it is the interior of the ileum here you see the mucosal folds here the mucosal folds they are not closely opposed they are wide apart and it is thin also so that means this side is the ileal side and this side is the jejunal side it is one point secondly this jejunal side it is thicker but the ileal side it is thinner and number 3 if you closely see the mesentery if i hang the intestine then you can see this area can you see the area in the mesentery that area what you what you can see through this area you can see the some blood vessels they are forming arches and some straight vessels are there the arching vessels are called the arterial arcades and the straight vessels the straight ones the straight vessels are called the vasa recti but here the number of arches are less for this the vasa recti are longer usually the number of arcades in this side about 1 to 3 and the gap be between the adjacent vasa recti it is visible and it is looks looking transparent you can see the light if i hold it against the light the some amount of light is passing through the fat in between the vasa recti which is called translucent window which is prominent in case of jejunal site but on the other hand if you see the ileal site this site here you see the number of arcades are more number of arcades on the ileal site it is 3 to 6 we are all arcades we are all arcades all arcades 1 2 3 and in between the straight vessels are called vasa recti but as because the number of arcades are more the vasa recti between the arcades will be more in number so number of arcades are more and vasa recti are shorter in length and the translucent window not prominent like that of the jejunal side because fat is there 
both the sides, but maximum fat is on the ileal side. If you see this specimen, it will be more clear. It is another specimen of the small intestine. You can see this side. Here, fat is maximum, more fat. So, because of the abundance of fat in this side, the translucent window are not prominent. But number of arcades and phasalectae are visible. And in this side, in the jejunal side, if you see the transfer window is better or clear than the ileal side. So, this is another point. So, I told you the first point, jejunal thicker, ileal thinner. Number two, the mucosal folds, circular mucosal folds, they are closely apart in the jejunal side and widely apart on the ileal side. And thirdly, the translucent window, they are prominent in the <coughs> jejunal side and less prominent in the ileal side because of fat. And fourthly, the number of arterial arcades are less in number, it is about 1 to 3 in the jejunal side and 3 to 6 in the ileal side. Because of this number of arcades, the fossa recti or straight vessels between the arcades, they are longer in case of jejunal side and shorter in case of the ileal sides. So, keeping all these features in mind, you have to hold the viscera or specimen of jejunum ileum in anatomical position. Now, you identified the which one is jejunal side, which one is ileal side. So, I am holding the jejunal side in my one hand and ileal end in another hand. This is very much coiled and you know the total length of the jejunum and ileum is about 20 feet out of which the jejunal part is about 2 feet that means 8 feet and ileum about 3 feet that is 12 feet. Yes, this is the jejunal side and this is ileal side. I, we identified already the jejunal end and the ileal end. Now, hold how to hold it? You know the jejunum actually it starts from the fourth part of the duodenum. Where the fourth part duodenum ends, jejunum starts from the duodenal jejunal junction. So, fourth part it is running from right to left like this and it is to some extent ascending upwards, fourth part. So, this is the fourth part of the duodenum, it is ascending upwards because fourth part is also called the ascending part and here the jejunum starts. So, if the fourth part duodenum ascending upwards and superiorly or superiorly and posteriorly, the jejunal end or jejunal opening will be directed towards anteriorly and inferiorly. So, anterior inferior of the jejunal opening here and or towards the right side. So, I will hold it the jejunal side in this way anterior inferiorly and towards the right side. And the ileal end on the other hand you know the ileum it, it, it ends in the cecum. If it is a cecum on right side here it ends the ileocecal junction. So, my hand is the cecum and here is the ileal opening. So, this is the ileocecal opening. So, ileum ends into the cecum called ileocecal junction or iliocolic junction. Again, this is opening also directing towards the right side. So, this opening and this opening both the openings towards the right side, but it is on the upper level, it is to some extent lower level. And the how to hold it? So, the jejunal end anterior inferiorly and towards the right, the upper end by, the left, by my left hand, and this is the ileal end towards the right side and it is at the lower level at the, ha, at the upper level. So, this is the anatomical position of jejunum and ileum.